They're calling it a great victory. I'm still like, kind of processing it all. You know, it's really, really a great day. Opponents of the 22-mile natural gas pipeline proposed to run through portions of the Pinelands applauded this morning. <laughs> after New Jersey Pinelands commissioners rejected the proposal in a 7-7 to -7 vote. Were you surprised by how other commissioners voted today? Well, uh, in a way. I mean, I, I certainly was unsure of how the outcome was going to go. I do know that all of the commissioners were weighing this heavily and thoughtfully for months. What the Pinelands Commission did today uh, really is they stood up for the rule of law, they stood up, stood up for the environment, and they stood up for the people of New Jersey. South Jersey Gas would have run the gas line through the forest, primarily along Route 49. The company planned to extend a high-pressure line to the BL England power plant in Cape May County. This project was really being put forth by the South Jersey Gas uh, Company, a private entity. Uh, they were joined in the application by the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities, which uh, on its surface, it gave the uh, idea that uh, this is an application of a government entity. But many of us felt that uh, it really was not the government's application, it was the application of a private entity, and therefore shouldn't be entitled to access of the memorandum of agreement exception. South Jersey Gas Vice President Robert Batsinger wouldn't speak to NJTV on camera. We were disappointed with what happened today, says Batsinger. We think South Jersey Gas took the right approach. We believe this decision is not in the best interest of both our customers and the residents of South Jersey. Fourteen of the 15 commissioners voted on the proposed agreement today. One of the commission members was required to recuse himself from voting. The Pinelands Commission requires eight votes to pass a measure. You know, we had commissioners that, uh, you know, stood by their guns and regardless of who they were appointed by, voted their conscience and voted to protect the Pinelands. And that really deserves a lot of praise. As for South Jersey Gas, Fatzinger says the company is evaluating its options. In Pemberton Township, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.